Welcome back to Life Tomorrow. I'm Hunter Mulford and I am joined by Tina Hedges, who is the CEO and founder of Lolly, which we're looking at here. And we're at Grand Central Tech. So thank you so much for meeting with me. Heather, it's a pleasure to be here today. Thank you for having me. Of course, so would you mind telling us a little bit about your company and what we're looking at here? Absolutely, so Lolly is Living Organic Loving Ingredients. We are a micro customization approach to organic food grade beauty. So we create bases that then you can personalize at home or we personalize for you at our pop-up blending bars. Everything is food grade, upcycled from food, earth friendly and also people free which means we support the stopping of people trafficking. Amazing and would you want to show us a few of the products that we're looking at here? Absolutely. So for example this is our plum seed elixir and we use the nut from the plum that's usually discarded. It's organic, it's food grade, it's pressed into an oil and then we blend it with sea buckthorn berry oil that comes from the Himalayas and pomegranate seed and it's your base. Then you want to customize it you wake up, you're a little bit um, red and inflamed. You could add in the white willow extract, or if you're flaky and you're, you have breakouts, you could add in um, tamarind seed. You can customize as you need to, when you need to. And do you think this is sort of the future of the beauty industry and where we're heading, where you're able to customize and personalize and create your own almost? Absolutely. I mean, I was part of the beauty industry where I worked for the big companies and we shipped out a lot of plastic bottles with lots of water and chemicals and nasties. And we told women they had to buy a regimen of 30 products to address each concern individually. But what are they buying? They're buying water and chemicals. Instead, we say start with a base, for example, our chia seed brulee and you can use this every day face body moisturization but then you can customize it you could turn it into a scrub you could make it an anti-acne treatment it's wow. up to you when and how you want to personalize so it's going back to the basics and giving the control and the power back to the hands of the consumer and who would you say are your customers we say they're millennially minded. I consider myself one of our customers. It's a woman who is beginning to read food labels and dig down and understand what's really in the supply chain. Complete transparency is also really important to us and to her. For example, we're the only beauty company to show you a graph of every single ingredient, what's in it and the level it's in, just like food. So we really consider ourselves a food approach to beauty and our consumer cares about that. Absolutely, and it's so great that everything's so organic, so fresh. We're even looking at some of the items that these fruits are actually incorporated within the product. And right now we are standing in the workspace of Grand Central Tech, and I'd love to know what is it like working in this environment? I literally get up every day and I consider myself so blessed to come into this office. First of all, it's such a nurturing environment. They, their whole mission is to make sure they're helping us besides giving us office space for an entire year, which is unheard of for a startup, but literally they spend their time thinking about who do we need to meet, who can mentor us, what doors can they open, and considering what difficulties I had as a female founder, to have this, and getting funded, to have this opportunity is incredible. And do you want to maybe expand on some of those challenges that you faced that ultimately brought you here? Absolutely. So I'm over 40 and as a and you look amazing <laughs> and as a female founder when I started um, going to fundraise and I had already self-financed I'd already done a test I was incredibly I had traction I had been written up by Vogue I'd shipped over a thousand boxes and when I went to go pitch in competitions in tech competitions I was literally told to go home because I was over 35 and I was a woman and they didn't consider it tech other Instances where VCs who told me that if I was out of Harvard Business School, 35 and a woman, and Lolly was an idea on a napkin, they would fund me $2 million. But the fact that I was over 40, had experience counted against me. So to me, when you think about, for the last five years, female-funded companies, it's been stagnant at 17% for five years of getting funded. That is incredible and wrong, and we need to do something about it. And age should count for something in your favor. Absolutely, and you're really, I mean, you're doing such an amazing job. It really, truly is their loss, in my opinion. How do you see your product and your company advancing over the next five years, maybe even 10? We want to change the way women shop beauty. We want to put 
the opportunity for them to choose food grade ingredients that have total transparency. They know when they were cultivated, how they were cultivated, and they can choose those ingredients and blend their own beauty themselves or come to our blending bars and have us blend for them. It's all about deconstructing and giving the control and the opportunity to micro-personalize back to the consumer. I love that. And I also want to go back a, a few steps because you had a very interesting method um, when it comes to subscription. Can you expand on that a little bit and how you came to where you are right now? Absolutely. So this is not my first startup. And um, I realized when I had the idea for Lolly that I really wanted to self-finance to begin and to prove and get traction and, and say to myself, is this really something that I want to take someone's money and fund? So the way I self-financed is I said, let me do a three-month surprise subscription and have women pay for me to focus group. And that's what they did. They signed up. They gave me $105 for three months, and we didn't even tell them what they were getting. And we shipped over 1,000 boxes. Amazing. So she truly used a subscription model as a way to test it out and focus group. And now you actually, well, tell me a little bit about, you have a launch coming up. Yes, we're super excited. This is a sneak peek, so thank you for joining, having us join Karma Network. But um, we're launching in mid-November, so the site will go live, and um, we'll be open to start shipping by the third week of November. So it's really very timely. We're super excited. Incredible. And you're using the subscription model. You used it to sort of test out your products, but now you're also allowing your customers to use subscription or pick out which products they want? Correct, they can choose. They can come to the site and they can just choose a base if they're not in the mood to personalize. They can choose a base and several mix-ins or they can go on auto replenishment or subscription and, and get kits, for example, if they want to explore. So really, they have the choice. We're not dictating to them how they need to shop their beauty. Amazing. So how would you say that Lolly is impacting life tomorrow when it comes to the beauty industry, when it comes to female entrepreneurs? Well, we're, we're really innovating on so many levels. So first, it's the fact that we're using superfood, upcycled, organic ingredients with total transparency. Then we're using food grade packaging like this yogurt jar where when you're done, you can peel off the label, stick it in the dishwasher and use it for food storage. Oh my God. We're also using in our packets bio-based um, certified compostable film that's never been used before that deconstructs in 100 days. Again, every single way. And lastly, we're supporting the stopping of people trafficking. So we use a tech platform to police the supply chain and that's our give back. So we're really looking at beauty holistically and saying it's not just what you put on your skin, it's where it comes from, how it's made, and don't build your happiness on someone else's unhappiness, whether it's the people or the planet. I love that. It's such a great holistic approach to beauty and wellness. So how do people find out more about you and Lolly? Well, they can go to our Instagram, lolly.beauty, our um, website, lollybeauty.com, and in three weeks when we launch. <laughs> and um, they could write to me, tina at lollybeauty.com. I love to hear from people and engage. Well, thank you so much, Tina. It's been such a pleasure. And again, you're watching Life Tomorrow. I'm Hunter Mulford. We're reporting live from Grand Central Tech. And in just a few minutes, I'll be talking to the executive director of the Urban Tech Hub. So check back in for that.